hi welcome back to my channel you guys and in today's video we're doing something a little different something colorful something bright and i'm starting off with doing the hair i'm just putting some crop curls in her hair right now so you guys can enjoy that for a little while I am like totally in love with this hair color and the hair itself you guys are so soft it was amazing. for you guys like look at how beautiful this hair is how it came out the cramps y'all i think i'm a hairstylist now yes book me <laughs> And I am done, like, yes, she looks so beautiful. I love this hair. I love it. We need more love, no time for hair. The world is changing every day. Go to work, no time for play. Now I am prepping a face for this makeup application and I'm starting with the brows first today. Everyone knows I usually do brows last, but when I'm doing something with color, and eyeshadow on the lids I tend to do brows first so that's what I'm doing first today and I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil I'm not sure the name or what it is but I'll leave it down in the description box below To define and conceal those brows, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 30. Um, I'm not sure what the name of it is. I'll leave it down in the description box below, but it's Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 30. Now I'm going in to conceal the top of those brows and I'm using um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. Now I am blending out that concealer at the top and at the bottom. No matter. 
Once everything is blended out to my liking, I am going to be going in with some e.l.f. concealer just to apply it a little bit on her lid so that we can have a good eyeshadow base. Once that is blended out, I'll be taking a, like a neutral shade from my eyeshadow palette and I'll be applying that on her lid first to work as like setting that parts of that area where I wanted to be set at before I apply her first eyeshadow shade. I used to set the lids with setting powder but I found that this way doing it this way works better for me so that it doesn't seem so cakey and that your eyeshadow is really set in place. Okay now I'm going in with my first eyeshadow shade and it's like a dark pink burgundy-ish almost burgundy-ish color and I'm applying that all over her lid and like the crease area as I pack on that eyeshadow shade I am also blending as well like I like to pack and blend it just seems so much easier so I won't have to do so much blending at the end of each eyeshadow shade that I use so I'm packing and blending at the same time Going in with my second eyeshadow shade, it's like a dark plum purple and I also mixed it with black to get the color that I really wanted. So I'm going in with two shades right now, the, um, the purple and the black and putting it all over that crease to deepen up that crease a little bit more. I am cutting that crease now and I am using the e.l.f. concealer in the shade Tan Sand. And I usually wing this part because everybody's eyelids is different but she has super hooded eyelids and you can't really tell but she has a great eyelid space. You see all of that space but she has hooded eyes. Cutting the crease with someone with hooded eyes can be a little bit more complicated, but um, she was actually pretty easy. Um, because I've been doing this for a little while and I've actually done her makeup before, so I know exactly how to do makeup on her. So it wasn't that hard for me. Okay, now I'm going in with the first shade that I'm going to choose to put where I cut that crease. I am using a lavenderish purple shade and I am putting that like right in the middle of that lid like right on the middle and I'm really taking my time packing that on there because I really want these colors to be bright I want it to be pop I want it to be shown okay now I'm going in with the second shade and I'm using this white and everybody know with working with white it can be very tricky it can be very hard because sometimes it it doesn't go on how you want but this shade went on perfectly exactly how I wanted it to and it looks really good and I'm really packing that white on there and I'm going to be going back and forth with the lavender and the white just to make sure it's like give it a nice mix and it like goes in seamlessly like the blend is really blended okay and I'm going in with the last shade and it's like a purple shade and I'm using that on the part at the end where you can really see that crease was at we're going to pack that shade there because we do not want it to be known that I cut that crease we don't want to tell that I cut that crease so we're going to be packing that purple on the ends and blending it in with that lavender shade okay so I'm a little behind this video is going pretty fast I'm going in with a liquid matte um, eyeliner from elf Once that eyeliner is on there, um, we're going to be taking a little brush and blending the ends of that liner into her crease shade so that it doesn't look like just a black liner which is slapped on there. We want it to blend. 
I'm going in with another liner. Um, this liner looks white on this camera a little bit, but it's actually like um, lavender. It's almost like a lavenderish whitish shade. It, it's like hollow, so it goes back and forth from white and lavender. That second liner is also metallic. It's so beautiful. Okay, and we're going in with foundation now. Like, um, I actually mixed three foundation shades to get the perfect shade I really wanted for her skin tone. Um, and I will put them down in the description box below, but they're all from Maybelline Fit Me. And once that foundation is on to my liking with a brush, I am going to take my beauty blender and a damp one at that, and I'm going to be petting it all into her skin. I love this step. I will not skip this step. This step is so important to me. Like, I just love how a beauty blender works with the foundation, how it goes straight into the skin. It like absorbs it and goes straight into the skin. Okay, so now this is a new technique I just started getting into, and I got this from another YouTuber, and I absolutely love it. Um, I am going in with Fawn from LA Girl Pro Concealer first, and applying that where I would normally highlight it, and then I will be going in with Tan Sand from Elf on top of that. A little goes a long way with this elf concealer. So I would say start off light with applying it, but if you need to add more, then add more. Oh yes, one of my favorite parts. We is blending out that highlight. Okay, we are going to be blending, honey. Okay, with my brush. I don't. I like to use a brush first, and then I might go in with um, my beauty blender. On the other side and blend that in to make sure it's really like blended perfectly but i thought of with a brush You see me picking up that beauty blender because we are about to blend, 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 honey, okay? We cream contouring now. Yes, I love this step. I love a cream contour. I just love it. It just looks so beautiful. ask me all the time where did I get this cream contour palette from and honestly I really do not remember I just know that it was from the beauty supply store and it's next level so when it's gone I'm probably gonna cry now that we have contour i'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender and when i do this with the beauty blender i tend to dip my beauty blender back into the cream contour palette that i use while i blend out her cream contour on her face i feel like it just looks better because sometimes when you use a beauty blender it can wipe away all of that cream contour that i had already placed so i like to dab my beauty blender into the cream contour palette and just blend it out on her face like that I am going in with some setting powder now and this setting powder is from my brand Olika Cosmetics and it's in the shade number two um, if you don't have it you need to have it it's next level game changing the best setting powder and I have six shades six shades you guys
once that it's on there I really don't like to bake so I may let it sit for about a minute or so but I do not like baking I don't like to feel that baking gives so once it's on the skin I like to dust it away and pat it into the skin And now it's time to powder contour where we cream contoured it and I'm using the Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Deep. And I know it looks super harsh right now, like I just did way too much contouring, but I promise you, it's all going to look so good at the end uh, once I add my blush and all the other things. Just stay tuned. I had a little setting powder still left over on her skin, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going in and making sure I dust away all of that setting powder. Blush, 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 blush. Okay, I love me some blush. I will never not wear blush. Blush makes a face. Blush, okay? That's it. Simple, period. Blush. Powder contouring that nose. Because it has to be snatched, honey. What's small nose? Time to highlight. I used to hate highlighting, but you guys, I love it. Now. I love it. And this highlighter is from my brand, it's in the shade Nunu. Nunu. Okay, so she has a little mold, so I'm bringing my liquid liner from e.l.f. and just accentuating her mold, bringing her mold back. Once that is done, I'll be going in with that purplish, blackish mix that I did for her crease, and I'm going to be putting it on the bottom of her eyelashes, so I'm going to be putting it at the bottom lids of her, of her eyes, just to give it some color under there. going in with this purple metallic liquid liner and I'm putting it in the inner corners of her eyes because we're going to be adding some glitter. Wow, that dries a little bit. I'm going to be looking for my glitter glue and then I'll be applying that in the inner corners where I apply that purple metallic liquid liner at. And from there, I'll be applying this like chunky, fine glitter mix in the inner corners of her eyes. My favorite part, lips, absolutely my favorite part, period. Okay, so we're going in with this liquid matte lipstick from my brand, um, and we're just going to be using it as a liner to line her lips. Once that is done, I will be going in with a liquid matte lipstick from this brand um, called AOA. Shop Miss A online. Everything's a dollar, and I think this is in the shade Flirt. No matter how far we may go, all the places we don't know. 
applying a little bit more of that liquid matte lipstick from my brand um, just to bring back a little bit because the coloring went away a little bit when we applied that liquid matte lipstick um, from Shop Miss A. Now I'm going in with this high shine lip gloss from my brand in the shade Skin Sight and I am applying it in the middle parts of her lips. After applying Skin Sight, I'm applying um, Pinky from my brand as well. After applying Pinky from my brand and Skin Sight from my brand, I'm going in with the clear lip gloss from the Beauty Supply Store and I'm applying that in the perimeters of her lips where I did the brown liner at and also putting it a little bit all over just so that it can all blend and have that ombre effect. Going in with some lashes now. We are putting on some lashes, and they are 25 mm lashes. These are from her. She bought these lashes. I'm not sure where she got them from, but these are her lashes, and they were so bomb. They match so perfectly with them. Wow, we made it through. That's pretty much it for this look, you guys. Um, I'm just going through some touches, like browning up the brows and cleaning up where I like may have lost some like coloring up with the brows and stuff like that, and then putting on some mascara on the bottom and putting some at the top of her, her lashes just to make sure that they blend seamlessly together with the falsies and stuff like that. But we are basically done this look. I'm just taking some pictures now for my artistry page, OC Artistry on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Um, that's all I'm doing. That's the finished look for this video today, you guys. Thank you for watching. I love you guys always. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new to this channel as well. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Love you. Mwah.